Hi boys and girls, welcome to today's ELA lesson. My name is Mrs. Johnson and today we are going to do a little bit of review that we did with Miss Sophia with the letter sounds. Then we are also going to go over our word of the day. Then we are going to do our sentences. But first we're gonna have to learn a bit about the rules of sentences and how we can create one. Then we are going to draw a picture to go with our sentences. And then we are also gonna go over syllables, consonants, and vowels today for our ELA lesson. So let's get started. I am going to pull out my presentation real quick and we will get started. Oops, sorry kids. Okay, so we went over our agenda. Then we're gonna do letter sounds. So what we're going to do is say them together. So our first letter of the alphabet is A, very good. So what does the letter sound of A sound like? Very good. Ah, ah, apple. Ah, ah, acorn. Very good, you guys know your A's. Now we're going to do the letter B. B, B, balloon. B, B, basketball. Very good. Then we have our letter C. Corn. Very good. You guys know your letter sounds. And then what's our next letter? After C comes D. Very good. D, D, dinosaur. D, D, dog. Then we're going to move on to the letter E. E, E, elephant. E, E, elephant. Very good. Now we're going to do the letter F. F, f frog, f, f, fish. Good job. Now we're going to do the letter G. What does G sound like? Very good, kids. G, g, gum. G, g, grasshopper. Very good. Now we're going to do the letter H. We're going to put our hand up and we're going to breathe on it. Hot. Hot. Very good. Now we're going to do the letter I. I, I igloo. I, I, igloo. Very good. Now we're going to do the letter J. J, J, jar. J, J, juice. Very good. Now we're going to do the letter K. K, K, kangaroo. K, K, kangaroo. Now we're going to do the letter L. L sounds like oh, and you can see my mouth and tongue. Oh, <laughs> looks a little funny, but that will help you to learn the sound of L. Oh, lion, oh, leprechaun. Very good, you guys. I like to see your oh. <laughs> now we're going to do the letter M. Mmm, macaroni. Mmm, mom. Very good. Now we're going to do the letter N. Mm. Mm. Nest. Mm. Necklace. Very good. I'm so proud of you guys. You are doing awesome. Now we're going to do the letter O. How does O sound? Ah, uh, ah, uh, octopus. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Octopus. Oh my goodness, my lights just went off. Hold on one moment, kids. 
Hey, I think I fixed my lights. We were on O. Ah, ah, octopus. Ah, ah, octopus. <laughs> Very good. Now we're going to be on the letter P. P, P, popcorn. P, P, princess. Very good. Excuse me. Now we are going to be on the letter Q. Does anyone know the letter Q sound? Qu qu queen. Very good. Qu qu queen. Very good. Now we are going to be on R. Racehorse. Rabbit. Good job. Now we're going on to S. S, -s snake. S, S, snake. Very good. Now we're going to go on to T. T, T, tongue. T, T, temple. Very good. Now we're going to go on to the letter U. A, uh, a, uh, umbrella. A, uh, Umbrella. Very good, kids. Now we're going on to the letter V. V, V, Victor. V, V, Van. Now we're going to go on to the letter W. W, W, Water. W, W, Wagon. Now we're going to go on to the letter X. And it goes like box or fox or x ray. <laughs> All right, now we're going to move on to the letter Y. Y sounds like y, y, yellow, y, y, yarn. <laughs> then we go on to Z, the final letter in our alphabet. It goes z, z zebra, z. Z zebra. Very good. Thank you all for reviewing our letter sounds that we did with Mrs. Sophia. Now we are going to go on to the next part of our lesson. Let's go. Okay, so we are going to talk about our letter of the day. Or not letter. Silly Mrs. Scarlett. Our word of the day. So our word of the day is going to be cat. Look at that cute little cat over on our screen. Oh, just so fluffy and cute. So let's listen to our word cat. K -a -t. Cat. So the word cat has three letters. Let's say them. C A T. K A T. Cat. Very good. So there's three letters in the word cat. Then we're going to talk about vowels. What are vowels? So vowels are A E I O and U. Do we have any A, I, O, E, or U's? That's right, we have an A right here in red on our cat. So we have one vowel and that is the letter A. Now we're gonna talk about consonants. So consonants are what vowels aren't. So vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So if none of those are in here and we have C and T, those are consonants. So we have one, two consonants, C and T. Next, we have syllables. So syllables are what we're going to clap out. So a syllable is cat. Clap with me. Cat. So every time you say syllables, you're going to clap them out. We'll talk a little bit about that later. 
but let's move on with the rest of our lesson. So now we're going to talk about sentence rules. So sentence rules comprise of four things. What do you think the first sentence or the first sentence rule is? You guys are rock stars. So that's right. Our first rule for sentences is we have to start our sentence with a capital letter. What's a capital letter, Mrs. Johnson? Oh, that is a great question, class. I'm going to show you real quick what a capital letter is versus a lowercase letter. So let's go there. So a capital letter is what we call our big brother. So our big brother is big capital A right here. Then our lowercase is the baby. So the baby is this little red one. So each letter on here in blue is the big brother. He's big and bold. And our ones in red are our lowercase letters. They are the babies. They're really small and they're very easy to identify. So our first rule for sentences is to always start our sentence with what is it? That's right, a capital letter, which is our big brothers. Very good class. Now we have our second rule. Our second rule is to put finger spaces between our words. So what does that mean? I'll show you. So when we're writing our sentences on a piece of paper, you're going to write your letter, let's say A. A cat joined the circus. So you're going to put a finger space, cat, finger space, joined, finger space, the, finger space, circus, finger space. So each time you write a word, you want to put your fingers on your paper to show spacing between each word so they're not all jumbled together and we can't read what you put. So our next rule, what do you think our next rule is? That is a great guess. So our third rule is to use ending punctuation. What in the world is the word punctuation mean? I'm going to explain that to you. So punctuation means that you are ending your sentence or splitting up your sentence. So when you're writing a sentence that says, a cat joined the circus, you can put a punctuation mark, which is a period. So a period ends your sentence. But if you're still wanting to continue your sentence and you wanna say, a cat joined the circus and became a clown, you would say, a cat joined the circus, and you'd put a comma, which is a punctuation mark, and became a clown, period. That is what punctuation is. I'm going to show you a few different punctuation marks. So over here, you can see, oops, over here, this right here is a question mark. So if you're writing a sentence that says, Mom, have you gone to the grocery store? You would put the question mark at the end of your sentence because you're asking a question. Or if you say, I love ice cream, you would put an exclamation point. That funny one on, in the green is an exclamation point. That's for when you're so excited and you want everyone to know. So I love ice cream, exclamation point. And that ends your sentence. Then the one in pink is the period, which we talked about, which ends your sentence. You say, I love cats, period. And then over here, we have our exclamation point again. So again, if you're really excited and you say, I love cats, exclamation point. That's what we would do when we're using punctuation marks. 
So we always have to remember to use punctuation marks at the end of our sentences. Now, our fourth and final rule is a very important rule for first grade. What do you think it may be when we're writing sentences? To create a beautiful picture at the end, of course. We always want to see your art, and it will always give us a great idea of what your sentence is. So you're going to write or draw a detailed picture of what your sentence is or your story. So if you're writing about a purple fluffy cat, I want to see that beautiful picture at the end of your sentence with your beautiful purple fluffy cat. Now we are going to talk a little bit more about our word of the day and how we can use it in some sentences. Let's start. Okay, so our word of the day is cat and we can write many sentences. You can have it in any way you want, but a few ones that I've picked out, I'm going to show you how to write them. So I have a pet cat, period. That is a great sentence because it has a capital I at the beginning, which is our big brother I. Then it has finger spacing. And at the end of my sentence, there's a period. So I know that my sentence is complete. Then our next sentence will be, I like my cat. That one is another excellent example of a good sentence with our four rules, as it has the capital I, finger spacing, and the punctuation mark, which is our fancy period. Another sentence you could use is, I have a pet cat, comma, and it is purple with spots, period. That would be a great sentence. So later on, when we have you write your sentences, I'd love for you to consider our rules that we went over. So now we're going to have you write your own sentences. So grab a piece of paper and grab a pencil or a pen and let's write some sentences and brainstorm some ideas that you would like. And when you're done with your sentences, come back and we'll finish our lesson. For now, I'm going to just share my screen and you are going to do this all on your own. And when you're done, we'll come back, okay? Sounds good. Remember our rules and remember your best writing as possible because we have something fun coming up afterwards. Okay, I hope you've wrote at least one sentence by now. And if not, that's okay, keep writing. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to do our drawings. So and after you've wrote your sentence, you're going to take out a piece of paper and draw a picture of a cat. Um, you can also write this on the back of the paper that you've already wrote your sentence on and you can draw there. This is a little bit of inspiration for you until you are ready to come back. I'm going to give you guys about five minutes. I'm going to set a timer. Actually, I'll give you 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back after you've drawn and we will discuss some fun things, okay? All right, I set the timer.
Okay, boys and girls, did we finish our drawings of our cats to finish our sentences? Oh, amazing. Can I see some of them? Pull them up to the screen so I can see. Oh my goodness, I love all of your guys' art. Oh, I love that purple cat you made. Someone made a brown cat. Someone made a rainbow cat. I am loving these pictures. They just look wonderful. Thank you for bearing with me during our sentences lesson today and our word of the day. You guys did amazing and your pictures are wonderful. We do have a bit more work to do, so bear with me, but let's head on to our next part, okay? All right, let me get the screen up. Okay, now we are going to do our syllable clap game. So we are going to go over a few words and I am actually going to stop the share because I'm doing it live with you today. Um, we are going to do this and let's go. All right, so our first word is I. How many syllables does it have? Let's clap. I. I. One syllable. Then we're going to do my. 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 That's one syllable as well. Now we're going to do the word of the day. Cat. 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 One syllable. Our next one is has. Has. Let's clap it out. Has. Has. That is one syllable. Then we're going to do spots. Because chances are, if you wrote about your cat, you might have put that your cat has spots or stripes. So we're going to do a word spots. Let's clap it out. Spots. Spots. That's one syllable. Now we're going to move on to like. Because in my sentence, I wrote, I like my cat. So like, let's clap it out. Like like one syllable now i also wrote a little bit about how my cat is brown so we're going to do the word brown let's clap it out brown brown one syllable now some of you might have fluffy cats so we have to do the word fluffy let's clap it out fluffy ooh Fluffy. That has two syllables. Let's sound it out again. Fluffy. Fluffy. Two syllables. Now our next one. I know some of you drew some purple cats. So if you wrote in your sentence purple, let's clap out purple. Purple. Ooh. Purple. Two syllables. Now our last and final one of the day is whiskers. Let's say it, whiskers. How many syllables do you think whiskers has? Do you think it has one? Do you think it has two? Do you think it has 10? Do you think it has 10,503? No, I'm just being silly. Let's try it out and see how many whiskers has. Whiskers. Whiskers. Two syllables. All right. Good job. You guys are doing superstar work here with all of your syllable clapping. So now let's move on and let's look at our checklist for today. Did we cover letter sounds? A review of letter sounds. Check. Did we cover our word of the day? I sure hope so, but I know we talked about cats. And what did we learn with cat? We learned the vowels, the consonants, the syllables, and how many letters it has. So that was a check.
Then we learned about sentence rules, right? So that's another check mark. Then we learned about sentence is with cat, didn't we? We did with our word of the day, check. Then we also learned about our syllable clapping, right? We did, yes. We did so awesome today. Now we are going to head on over um, to our next lesson. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And thank you for your patience. Thank you for showing me your wonderful drawings. I will keep them in my heart. They were so beautiful. And I can't wait to see you guys again this week. All right, have a great one. Bye. Mrs. Johnson again. I am so sorry. I actually forgot to do another fun activity that I had planned for us. So we're actually going to do a read aloud story of my favorite Dr. Seuss book, The Cat in the Hat. And it goes perfectly with our word of the day, which is cat. All right, so let's get started. Once we're done with our wonderful book, The Cat in the Hat, we are gonna write some sentences about the story. So you are going to use the word cat in your sentences, and we will talk about the story a little bit after. So let's get started. The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said, how oh, I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house, we did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked, then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was not out of the house for the day. Oh no. You think they're going to get in some trouble with Mr. Cat in the hat? We'll see. But our fish said, no, 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 make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Ooh, the cat, or the fish is mad. Now, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why? We can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call Up, Up, Up with a fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book on one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. Wow, he's a tricky cat. 
Look at me, look at me now, said the cat, with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. I can hold up two books, I can hold up the fish, and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. But you have to know how. It is fun to have fun. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold up the toy ship and a little toy man. And look with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball. But that is not all, oh no. That is not all. That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too. We fell into a pot, he said. Do I like this? Oh no, I do not. That is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it, not one little bit. The fish is very angry. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house, look at this, look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. Aww. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out, and then as fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box. A big red wood box, it was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat, take a look. What do you think's in the box? Do you think it's something good? Or do you think it's gonna cause a ruckus? You think it's gonna cause a ruckus, let's see. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will take these two things, said the cat with a bow. Oh. That says, you will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook, you will see something new, two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you, they want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one. They came out, ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? Uh-oh. And Sally and I did not know what to do. So we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no. Those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now here's a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, 
said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump. Oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump down the wall in the hall. Oh no, they're causing ruckus. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down on the string of one kite. We saw mother's new gown, her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then he saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that, that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Would your moms or dads or grandmas or grandpas like if you did this in their house? Probably not. My mom would be very mad. Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? Oh, what will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net and I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Do you think he's gonna be able to get them? We'll see. Then I let down my net. It came down with a plop and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat. You did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. And he shut up the things in the box with the hook and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away. Yes, but your mother will come. She will find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall. We cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. And then... Who is back in the house? Why the cat? Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. And then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the books and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And he put them away. Then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went there, went down on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the cat in the hat. This is a great story by Dr. Seuss. I'm sure you've read it before, but it's always so fun to read it again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get a piece of paper. I have lined paper, but you can just get a piece of white paper or even colored paper, whatever you have at home, and get a writing utensil like a pencil or a marker. Um, 
anything you can write your sentences with, and we're gonna start writing some sentences from our story. Excuse me. So what I'm going to start with is the, the cat in the hat. What do you think the cat in the hat is? Silly, he is silly. Do you think he's messy? I think he's messy. So I'm gonna put the cat in the hat is a messy cat. And this sentence is a little long for what I want you guys to write, but I'm just gonna show you um, some of our rules that we went over earlier. So as you can see, I have, oh, this is backwards. Well, as you can see here, I have a capital T, I have finger spacing, and then I have my punctuation mark at the end. So that's what I want your sentence to look like. And I'm gonna give you about three minutes and I want you to write as many sentences as you can using cat. And it can be from the story and it could even be from earlier if you'd like. And I'm gonna start a timer for three minutes and I'm gonna write some as well. So let's go. Okay, boys and girls, did we get at least one or two sentences? Great job. Okay, so I'm going to show you a few of the sentences I wrote. First, I just want you to focus on the structure. You can see I have capital letters at the beginning of my sentence. I have my finger spacing and I have my punctuation marks all the way at the end of my sentences. So a few of the sentences I wrote is the cat in the hat is a messy cat. These are backwards, so I'm just gonna read them to you. Then I have, the cat is black and white. Then I have, the cat is bad. So he was a bit of a naughty cat. Then I have, the cat was sad, because he was sad when they told him to leave. Then I have, the cat has stripes. 
and the cat has a red hat. So I used capitals, I used our word of the day, I used finger spacing, and I used punctuation marks. This is an excellent example of our sentence structures, and I hope you guys wrote some amazing sentences. I'm sure you did. And I'm so sorry again for the mix up when I almost forgot our story. Sometimes I'm just so silly, but I'm glad we were able to do this lesson um, to finish off our other lesson. And I will see you guys again this week. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye kids.